People pulling out of protest are hungry people paid by government to disgrace themselves. DG Adeyanje. Uh, uh. DG, don't start again. <laughs> the news in detail, please. A human rights activist, DG Adeyanje, has stated that those who are announcing that they are pulling out of a planned nationwide wide protest were never invited to take part in the protest. And as such, they are just hungry people who were paid by the government to say what they are saying. DG Adeyanje made the statement during an interview with a journalist on a rise television. During the interview, DG Adeyanje said, People pulling out of protest are hungry. Are hungry people paid by government to disgrace themselves. Billions has been shared since last few weeks to different groups in an attempt to try and frustrate the protest. You are going to see what is going out to happen all over the country on the first day of August. The government is going to learn a bitter lesson about taking the people of Nigeria for granted. The agenda I just made this statement in response to reports that the youth wing of the Christian Association of Nigeria has pulled out of the planned protest. Now, this is what I'm going to see. If you are part of those who are who you are pulling out of the protest, maybe because of danger ahead, because of reasons that are let me say personal reasons. Your personal reason is genuine. Something came up. Maybe you are sick. Maybe you have to work or they don't trade and anybody will go protest, go losing job, blah, 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 blah. You understand? Those kind of things. No, Hala. But if you are pulling out from those protests because they don't settle you, that's money will you will choke on it. Yes. That money is going to, if you eat it too, the choke I mean does not mean literally you're going to choke. You actually eat the money. The money, if you feel even use them, if you money will big money because I know they will share better money. You understand? Money that is going to be able to convince people. Let me tell you, that money, eh? It is a, like a seed. You don't use them. You don't buy markets. You don't buy calamity. I just to make I tell you. Hmm? Because I am saying this, anything will make them shove these protests because of maybe um, government don't enter the matter when they talk any You understand? Or people will be saying they bribe. The one way go come, rational people no go plenty inside. Now people will be say, eh, they don't they don't flip. You know, say human being they flip. You can see somebody who is nice or let me don't say nice. Somebody who's a good person, a kind person. If the person flips, eh, maybe the person is maybe the pushover. Maybe a nice person. A nice person is a pushover. If the person flips, huh, even demon will come from hell. You better pass the person. So if these Nigerians flip eh, the reasonable side of them to the unreasonable, to the unreasonable, hmm? if they flip to the unreasonable, it is going to be disastrous. They will not even be, they will not, it is not going to be a protest, it is going to be a riot. And everywhere go red. But my annoyance, I see, if they won't do anything, they see we cannot hold it off. We can't. And the government, shame on you people. Shame. Money we're not supposed to they use the build, not the infrastructure this time around. Money we're not supposed to they use the build our refineries. For me, right now, our refinery is supposed to be of primary, as in, it's supposed to be on our top list, our top list of scale of preference. Now it's supposed to be our priority. For inside that, our scale of preference, because every human being, if you ask every human being now, they get skilled up. Everybody, they work. You are don't turn economic students. Do you understand? If you receive salary, if you're somebody who you're receiving salary, you don't already write down within the necessary. Transportation, if you're somebody who goes to work. Transportation, go day top. Food, go day top. Food, go day top. You know, your toilet is go day, you know. You don't understand. Go go day, exactly. So, refinery is supposed to be on the scale of preference, on the top, top priority. Why? Refinery, if we finish building it and we start refining our oil inside this country, it will reduce and curb the expenses. A bigger chunk of the expenses is going to, yes, and that embezzlement, what did they do? 
Do you know there are witches and wizards in government? I don't mean people that fly by night. I mean people who have sworn that they will forever frustrate plan to build refineries because every day then they earn money. They know how much we we'll say anytime we say Nigeria drill oil exports, they know how much then they get. I tell you people these things. And like I said, those people they don't already do ritual. That is why their lineage will be damaged. This one what I say is not a matter of swear. As far as the thing that is meant for a group of people. Imagine say maybe your family, you waiting be meant for a family, go take calm. You know, now between your family and you now, nature will always take back, but the thing will be saying, go better how many million people life. You can't they take calm only you the chop. My sister, now you be say all those people affliction will come your head. This is not a matter of God forbid or uh -uh, God forbid. No, no matter where they carry you, work out, go. Nobody go feel pray for you, make you go. Then go chop your money tire. They no go give you a solution to your problem. I just say make I tell you, but that is supposed to be what the government will be facing now. Do you understand? They will face refinery number one. They will face how to create. Uh, they will face agriculture, how to make sure there is food, how to make sure there is security. Farmers can go to their farm, you know, farm, and then, you understand, start bringing out food again. Now it will be their focus. Then totally bringing down uh, this thing, electricity tariff. This one, the refinery, hazards and farmers clashes, insecurity, they'll make food scarcity, they'll reduce its rebarious minimum. Then, um what again agricultural product to be exported not just agricultural but mineral resources to be exported they are going to face it and then one last one again i'm going to remember later this should be their priority to caution the effect of hunger if they focus on these four things in the next three years nigeria is going to you know most especially they focus it with their genuine conscience so, it's not people will be working and people will want to frustrate them. Do you understand? So, they and you don't come as I come here and see. You don't come as I come here and see. Some people don't already pull out from the protest. If you are true, so they don't shame on. And yes, it can be possible. But if this is what the government is doing, shame on them. Big shame. Then just they procrastinate their days of doom. As in then they prolong them. Because if people flip, I tell you, that is why I'm begging you. Please, if you are listening to me and you have already flipped your humanity and you don't flip, you no more listen to the voice of reasoning. I beg. If you want face, no face people like you. No face people will be said and they suffer. You understand? Face people will be said be government people. Target them. Monitor them. Target those people. Not, not be my own. If one flip, no flip come where human, as in your fellow people be saying they've cried for hunger day. Flip go those people, please, so that now then we could do it. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy.